Hi, so this video was supposed to be a demonstration on how to cover a blind in the Mexican thatch, the artificial um, mat or roll of grass that you get, but um, I forgot to hit record and I went and covered the whole thing, explaining to absolutely no one. So in this video, I will just explain what I did without having to take it all off and use a bunch more stuff. In the other videos, I show how to uh, get this out of the way here. Another covering is straw bale. I got a video showing how to use uh, some monofilament netting to put that on. Uh, there's another video on putting long grass, just weaving it on. This I found to be the easiest to put on, uh, probably a bit the most expensive though. So what I did was I took the roll of roll of thatch, rolled it out on my work surface, and then I put the the frame on top of it, the back side up. And all I did was tie using the plastic needle that comes with the blind, some gardening twine and a knife. All I did was I tied, I started on the one at the, the free edge, tied it to the frame, stretched it out, tied it to the other side, anchored it along the bottom, tied it along the top, and then I put a few ties down the side and then I cut along the inside uh, of the doggy door area and then I took that piece and I attached it to the doggy door using uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. I'll probably put another one there to anchor it down. It went uh, actually fairly easy. The, uh, I'm not sure how the top's gonna go be with the hatch yet. Um, I might have to trim it down. I'm gonna wait until wait and set it up and see exactly how much it affects uh, the hatch when it comes down and if it bends it over. If it does, I'll trim it up a bit. But that was fairly simple to do. Uh, minimal tools. And I think I got good coverage. I like the look of it. And uh, yeah, that's it for covering these blinds.